All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you one last preview for the 2015 college football season, and I'm finishing things off with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Now, Brian Kelly is entering his sixth season. Last year, they went eight and five overall. Now, during this offseason, there have been some bad news for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, offensively and even defensively, with one of their key players on both sides. Starting with the quarterback position and Everett Golson, he decided to transfer to Florida State. But I do believe that he did graduate, so he could play. And so he is going to play right away for the Noles, which means Malik Zaire is going to have to step it up at quarterback, and he is a pretty good athlete. And I think he will be a good replacement for Golson. Now defensively, though, they're going to have to play without their starting tackle in uh, defensive tackle in Jerron Jones, who tore his ACL. He will be out for the season, and those are the couple key voids that they're going to have to fill out with Golston and um, Jones. But I do like the replacement for Golston and Malik Zaire. He is a pretty good athlete. Now for Zaire, he's actually in a good fortunate position as far as the skilled players around him. They're actually going to have the return of running back Tyrone uh, to uh, Taron um, Falston, who had 889 yards running, 5.1 yards per carry, and 6 scores. He led the team in rushing last season. And they also have, have returned to their top two wide receivers in William Fuller, who had over 1,000 yards, just under 1,100 yards last season, and 15 touchdown receptions. And Chris Brown, who had 541 yards receiving and just one score. But they are returning to their top two wide receivers. The only bad news, though, is that they have the, a, a younger um, offense offensive line this season compared to last year, but I still think they have enough experience and great talent around um, um, Malik Zaire to prosper this season. Now, he is going to struggle sometimes, but I think he's going to be do good enough to have a decent season. Now, defensively, they average 29.2 points allowed per game, and they do have a, a, a player that I do like in the defensive line who's going to have to step it up to be play, to help out um, uh, be a leader in the defensive line to, be, um, to, to uh, fill in the void for uh, Jerron Jones, and that is Romeo um, Aquara, who actually led the team with four sacks last season and 39 tackles. He needs to be more of a vocal leader and a motivator for that D line. Now, as the secondary, they have two players in the secondary that I do like. Starting with Matthias Farley, who had 53 tackles, three um, sacks. Three and a half sacks last season and four interceptions. That showed that he could definitely even blitz the quarterback a couple of times and a couple of sneak plays. And lastly, Luke, um, um, Cole Luke, who had 48 tackles last season and um, 11 pass breakups to go along with four interceptions himself. So that shows that the secondary could definitely commit a couple of turnovers and they do have some well experienced corners, possibly one of the top corners in college football. Seriously. Now, as far as their top recruits, they have a lot of four star recruits, starting with a quarterback. Back and from um, Jersey City, New Jersey, Brandon Win um, Winsbush. I think that's a decent player. They also picked up um, Elias uh, Jones, a six foot um, five, two hundred and twenty pound um, tight end out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And lastly, the number five quarterback, according to ESPN, and Dexter Williams out of Winter Gardens, Florida. So they're still picking up some great heavy recruits, and they are trying to become contenders in college football. That um, Brian Kelly did lead the team to a national title show appearance um, back in two thousand. Um, um, back in 2010, 2011 season, his third year, um, actually 2012 season, his third year in um, college football in, um, for Notre Dame as head coach. So Brian Kelly's been doing a decent job. Now for this this season though, I do see them winning at the um, six guaranteed games in my opinion. But the six questionable games that I'm looking at are Texas, USC, Georgia Tech, Stanford, Virginia, and Clemson. I believe that they're going to get at least two wins out of them, possibly three wins. So I'm going to have to go with this team going eight and four overall, three nine and three at best this season. And if they do go nine and three, I think that is a successful season for Notre Dame because they do have a tough schedule like they always have been. But I honestly believe that they should join a conference like some others might think. But I do understand that they're independent. They've been, always been independent for as long as I can remember. But I have them going eight and four this season, nine and three at best. So that finally wraps things up with all of my previews. The next time I'm going to catch you guys will be just before week one of this season where I'm going to give you my predictions and key games to watch for the weeks. Thank you for watching today's blogs and all of my blogs. I'm your man, Keenan McCall. Be easy.